Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. We're going to go to the witch. We're going to do Leo. Leo. Let's breathe it in. Leo. Let's go, Leo. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Leo. Okay. It appears right now that things aren't that well. But I got a massive change coming in here. But right now it appears almost like, um, well, nightmare card. With the Nine of Swords, feeling like the Nine of Swords is hovering right above you, waiting to fall. Um, and this could be anything. This could be love. And if it's not love, it could be family, it could be your employment, it could be something. But I get a feeling, Leo, that you're on a good track here. That even though things don't seem to be what they truly are maybe you gotta lift your spirits a little bit maybe you got to believe but whatever it is i got money king coming in here the money man and i got a whole brand new beginning so i do have and then also i've got letting go of the a mind tornado with the devil card in the reverse not just the devil but the eight of swords the entrapment in the reverse Something's about to happen to you here, my darling. And what I had, I've got this whole great brand new beginning. Now, if it's not money, it could be just something very, very enriching. Something that feels very enriching. Something that feels, well, better than money. Letting go of the mind tornado. Also, there's something here that could be an X. There could be an X involved here because I do have the king and the queen of money here now. But I've got this beautiful marriage card in the reverse. So there could be an X there. Uh, could be something, um, maybe they've decided to share. But let's see what's going on. Let's get a few more cards out here. Well, uh, maybe your X. There's no doubt in my mind that this is an X, somebody that... If there's uh, you're divorced from or separated from there could be divorce proceedings happening which is why you might be feeling at this time that you're not really mm, seeing a lot of good into the future but <laughs> I got to tell you there's some good coming in for you and it's going to release all kinds of mind traps and bullshit that's going on up here um, but there is somebody with the queen of money coming in here now this is obviously an ex-spouse or a spouse and what is spouse that's well that's somebody you could have lived with too any kind of a bond that you had with somebody but there's somebody that's now feeling a lot of heartbreak there's somebody who's having possibly second thoughts with the five of cups here looking back at what used to be so with somebody with the marriage card reversed, it is either a divorce, but now there's this looking back and there's heartbreak. Then I have this, a wish fulfilled. What the heck is going on here? What the heck? So what I got is, Leo, there might be things bothering you right now. Things don't seem to be mm, measuring up to what you want them to be. But bam, something real good coming in. Whole brand new beginning in something. And all of a sudden there's this great release of this mind tornado, of this overthinking. There's this great release. And then somebody comes in. But somebody who's been looking back on something and feeling a lot of heartbreak. Suddenly, suddenly out of nowhere comes the Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. A prosperity card. Let's see what we can get. The 
Is that right side up? Yes. There's definitely an ending here. Okay, Leo, what I'm seeing is somebody doesn't want an ending here. Somebody coming back from the past. Someone that you had a strong bond with. But without even giving it a second thought, because when I got the thought card in the reverse and no ship coming in, what is this? This is somebody that's looking for this. So what I get is somebody that's an ex-spouse or an ex feeling this heartbreak. Why? That all of a sudden you're doing really good. You've gone from bad times to really good times, really good times. And then all of a sudden someone from the past is going through bad times and looking for a wish fulfilled. And that wish fulfilled, I got to tell you, Leo, what I'm seeing is you're not even going to give it a second thought. You're not going to even look at this ship that's coming in. Because there's a ship coming in, but you're not going to give it a second thought. No, I'm not interested in that ship. There is a massive ending here. Massive, painful ending. And I really don't think it's for you. I really don't think it's for you. I think someone might have put you in a tower. But your blessings are coming in. There's good stuff coming in. I think you're probably working on yourself. Maybe you met someone new. And then someone from the past comes in. All of a sudden. Looking at you and thriving. And looking at you. No more mind tornadoes. And, and healing. And clearly thinking. And, and doing well. And this person. Whoever it is. Is definitely your counterpart. Or so it seems. Now all of a sudden they are... It's like the story's turned. It's like from what you went to to what you're going, going to go through. Amazing. And what they were going through. And then all of a sudden now it's, it's just reversed for them. And they're coming to you looking for this Nine of Cups. But I got to tell you, Leo... I'm going to tell you, without even a thought, not even a blink of an eye, you're going to new, end it, done. It's done, it's over, it's too late, come back. But a messenger comes, and it is a passionate messenger. Passionate messenger on its way. One equal give and take. This person's very, holy crow, holy shamoli. Okay, um... Um, if this is your reading, then I'm not telling you anything you don't know. This person is unwell. This person is unwell. They're up and down, up and down. This is someone who has uh, extreme, extreme mood swings. Very, very passionate person, it appears. And they can go from very, very high with the tickety-boo card and to the equal give and take and, and, and you know, this, this have fairness. And then all of a sudden, bam, they're just, they're, wow, bam, nine of hammers coming down. Okay, so Leo, um, somebody's definitely hijacked your reading here. Do not be surprised if someone's on their way back to see you, but I think you're going to shut it down pretty damn fast. And when you do, this person's going to show you many sides of them, which you probably already know exist. They're going to show you many, many sides. They're going to show you the high, and they're going to show you the, trust me, the very, very low. So there is uh, huge depressions here this person goes through. God love them. Now, God love them. I wish them healing, but it's obviously that they struggle with themselves. When you got cards like this, from the very, very high to the imbalance to the very, very low, when you got cards like this, this is somebody who is, um, this is a tortured soul, is what this is. God love them, and I, then they're going to put their walls up, and then they're going to walk away and end it. And it just seems like, you know, um, I, I really do feel that you've gone through hell and back, Leo. And very, very little I have about you here. But be prepared because there is a whole brand new beginning coming in for you. And 
there's going to be a great release of any negative and, and sad emotion and it's a really really enriching beautiful thing coming towards you and unfortunately unfortunately there's someone from the past here that's got um uh when i think about like the movie a beautiful mind now, this could be someone who who has um schizophrenia or someone who is just having a really I got to have a really, really hard time, but even in their speech, even in their speech, like they, they fight their speech. It's like they, it's like they want to communicate with you, but, but they, it, it starts off very, very high, very high. Like, I am doing great. I'm doing freaking fantastic. Nice to talk to you again. Oh my God. It's good to see you. Very, very high, very, very hyper. And then they crash, and it's all in like this one conversation. And it all happens right before your very eyes to the point that you sit there and think, what the hell is happening? What is going on? This is a very, very tortured, God love them, very, very tortured individual. Now, it could be drugs, it could be, uh, it could just be their chemical makeup, it could have been something that has always been, but there's definitely. If it's not drugs, there is a serious, serious medical problem here. God bless them. Okay, so who have we got? Now, who might be coming towards you with a whole brand new beginning? Could be either a Taurus or an Aries. But who hijacked... Who hijacked could be a Gemini or an Aries. So, um, Leo, this is your reading, and wow, well, well, God bless you, it, it seems like everything's going to be just, just fine, um, I, I do feel that you're going to make a very, very sudden, uh, not even thinking about, uh, the decision to say no, no, I see you're shutting that down real quick, not even a bat, bat of an eye, like, no, no way. But I do have a, probably a strong Aries coming towards you, Leo. But I also have to say that be as gentle as you can with this other. It's apparent that they, uh, they're going through things. All right. Thanks for joining me today, Leo. If you like the way I read, please like share and subscribe. Namaste.